1. Expand 1 plus y to the power of 6 in ascending powers of y as far as the term in y to the power of 2. So in order to do that, we have a formula in your formula sheet for the binomial series. We're going to use that one. So it's this formula where in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to y, and n is equal to 6. So all you need to do is just substitute it into that formula. So 1 plus y to the power of 6 equals a to the power of n. So that's 1 to the power of 6 plus 6 choose 1. 1 to the power of 5, y to the power of 1, plus 6 choose 2, 1 to the power of 4, y to the power of 2. And we stop there because it says as far as the term in y to the power of 2. So after that, just put, just type this into the calculator and we should get 1 plus 6y plus 15y squared. And technically, the expansion should go on, but then the question wants you to stop at y to the power of 2. Part 2. In the expansion of 1 plus px minus 2x to the power of 2 to the power of 6, the coefficient of x squared is 48. Find the value of the positive constant p. So the piece of information that is given for this question is that the coefficient of x squared is 48. So we need to find an expression for the coefficient of x squared in terms of p and use that to solve for the value of p. We are dealing with the expansion of this expression, which is similar to the expansion we just did in part one. Remember questions in A level like to lead you to your answer. Sometimes your clues and hints to the question is in the previous part of the question. You just did one plus, you just expanded one plus y to the power of six. And now we're asked to expand something to the, something one to the power of six as well. So we already expanded one plus y to the power of six. So if we let y be px minus two x squared, it's the same expansion but then you just need to replace the y with px minus 2 to the power of x squared. Minus, sorry, minus 2x squared. So from part 1, if 1 plus y to the power of 6 equals 1 plus 6y plus 15y squared, then you can replace the y with px minus 2x squared. And if you do that, it becomes this which is a lot easier to expand than expanding three terms in a bracket. So if you expand the brackets and then simplify it, we get one plus six P X minus 12 X squared plus 15 P squared X squared minus 60 P X cubed plus 60 X to the power of four and so on. And we know that the coefficient of x squared is equal to 48. So we're only going to concern ourselves with the coefficient of x squared. So that's these two terms that give x squared. So minus 12 plus 15 p squared is the coefficient of x squared. And we know that the coefficient is equal to 48. So we can write minus 12 plus 15 p squared equals 48, which we can use to solve for p. So if you solve for p, you should get 15 p squared equals 60, p squared equals four, and therefore p equals plus and minus the square root of four. So p could equal two and equal minus two. However, the question says, find the value of the positive constant p. So it needs to be positive. Therefore, the answer is p equals two, not p equals minus two.